The main benefit of procedural textures is that it's always high quality. Because it's not bound by the pixels of an image, we can scale up infinitely and also zoom in very far without losing quality. So how does that work? So let's say we have an eye right here and we want to add another eye. Everything that's black is zero and everything that's white is one. So we already have one right here and we are basically adding another one. And if we do one plus zero, which is this, we only get this one. Imagine a chalkboard where we use the chalk on the blackboard. One line gets added to nothing. So we see a white line. Now let's say we want to remove white areas. We all know that when you multiply something by zero, it becomes zero. Imagine a black pen on white paper. We are removing the white because the white is one and the pen is zero. So we are multiplying one by zero and it is being removed. It's the same for toilet paper. And once we wipe, okay, okay, we get the point. It gets removed. In the blend modes of the mix color node, select multiply. We want this color to be black. We now have eyes over here and we have made one eye over here. And remember, this is one and we want to multiply this by zero. We've got a little white area right here and we are telling the factor in this white area, it should be black. And in this black area, it should be the first add node. So if we select this multiply, you can now see that this black area has been removed from the white area. And that's what multiplication does because we had one over here and we multiplied it by zero. And this was zero. Let's do another example that visually may work out better. And I will add a wave texture. This is what the wave texture looks like. And now we've got some horizontal lines. I'm going to mix those together. First, I'm going to set it to add. As you can see, we have little white areas over here. There were white lines going vertically and there were white lines going horizontally. And what happened is that they added the white to each other. So now there are some values that have a value of two, like over here, we added one plus one. And here there was nothing, so it was zero plus one. So this is white. If you want everything to be stuck at one, simply click on clamp result. So basically we added white areas to the black, so zero plus one is one, and we added white areas to the white, which is one plus one, which is two. Now let's say we use multiply. Now all the white areas will be removed because we did white times black, which is one times zero, which is zero. And now everything is black. And what have we done? We have basically placed this one over that one. Now everything that was white right over here will be removed by the black areas. So now let's say that we want a certain area to have a specific texture and the other area to have another texture. If we duplicate this mix color node, place it right over here and change it to mix, we can set the multiply into the factor. Remember what it looks like? Let's place it right in here. Now all the black areas which are on A can be made red and all the white areas can be made blue. And now we have determined where to place certain textures based on white and black values. So remember, multiply is basically like writing with a black pen on white paper, while adding is actually like a chalkboard where we write with white chalk. And that's the easiest way to understand procedural texturing. Click on subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.